morning everyone, welcome to Breathe Kiss Church. Thank you so much for choosing to join us today. If you are new with us this morning, my name is Lucy and we are so glad that you are here. As you may or may not know, we have been looking at the book of Acts and today we're going to look again at another story about what Peter did. We're now going to go into a time of praise and worship, so get yourselves on your feet, get your singing voices ready and your dancing feet ready. Let's go and praise Jesus together. Slapstick Theater. Peter escapes from prison. This is Peter, hey who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Peter told people about Jesus. There was a king named Herod who tried to stop anyone who tried to tell others about Jesus. He arrested Peter and took him to jail to be executed. While Peter was in prison, the people of the church prayed for him. 
the night before Peter was supposed to go to trial, he was sleeping. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord stood before him. The angel woke Peter up and said, Quick, get up. The chains fell off Peter's wrists. Whoa! Then the angel told him to get up and get ready to go and to follow him. So Peter left the cell, but all the time he thought was happening wasn't real and that it was just a vision. They passed by the guards, and when they came to the iron gate, it opened for them on its own. Wow! Awesome! They were walking through the street when the angel suddenly left him. Wait, what was happening? Peter finally realized that this was all really happening and that God had sent an angel to save him from what King Herod and the Jewish leaders had planned to do to him. Wow! He went to the home of Mary, where many believers were together praying. When Peter knocked at the door, a servant girl came to answer. Hey, uh, let me in! Peter! When she realized it was Peter, she was so excited that she ran inside to tell people instead of letting Peter in. Uh, I'm so sure her. It's Peter! The people inside thought the girl was wrong and said, It must be Peter's angel. But Peter kept knocking. When the people finally opened the door, they were amazed. Peter told them about what happened and all about how God sent an angel to rescue him from prison. Wasn't that awesome? Now is the time for you to go and get your notebooks, your Bibles and your pens ready to take some notes. You've got 10 seconds, go! we've been learning about what some of the apostles did once God sent the Holy Spirit. I've loved it so far. Now today is the last Sunday of the month, which means it's the last day of this series about Acts. But I know we've learned a lot and we hope you have enjoyed it. But today, let's have a look at another story from the book of Acts. So, some background information for you. As you know, some people didn't like what Jesus did whilst he was here on earth and they put him on the cross for it, but Jesus came back to life. Once he went to heaven and gave the gift of the Holy Spirit to all who believed in him, people were still not happy with what his followers were doing. They were telling everyone they could about Jesus and they were performing miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. So, do you know what happened? The king at the time, whose name was Herod, decided to kill one of the disciples and then he put Peter into prison. Now, if I was Peter, I would be thinking, surely this isn't happening, I haven't done anything wrong. And if I was Peter's friends, I would be thinking the same thing and possibly trying to get my friend out of prison. Let's read what his friends and the people who were a part of the church did. In Acts chapter 12 verse 5 it says this, so Peter was kept in jail, but the church kept on praying to God for him. Well, their response to Peter being put in prison wasn't anger, hurt or bitterness, it was prayer. So my first point is, pray always. When we pray, things will change. God hears our prayers and he responds. It may not always be the response we're hoping for, but God knows best. We just have to trust. If any of you guys have had an answer to prayer, we would love for you to share it with us. So if you're in the building, please let us know what that is. Anyway, as you know from the cartoon, what happened next is amazing. An angel appears and walks Peter out of prison. Let's read Acts 12 verse 7. It says this. Suddenly an angel of the Lord stood there. A light shined in the room. The angel touched Peter on the side and woke him up. The angel said, hurry, get up, and the chains fell off Peter's hands. So the angel appeared, but notice how the angel didn't just take Peter out of the prison. He told him to get up, which leads me to my second point, get up and go. We can't expect God to do all the work. We must put in the work ourselves as well. If Peter decided to just stay where he was, 
he may never got out of prison, but he did, and look what happened. He was set free. We have to learn from this. We can't sit around waiting for God to sort everything out for us. We have to play our part as well. For example, you may be praying for a good friend. God may have put some pretty awesome people in your life, but you may not notice because you're expecting God to put a person in front of you to be your best friend. That can happen, but most of the time we also have to get up and go. We have to be a good friend to others. We have to be kind and go out of our way too. God has still answered our prayers, but we have a part to play as well. Just like the story in Acts, the church were praying for Peter. God answered their prayers and sent an angel to get him from jail. Peter then had the choice to stay where he was or get up and go. I think I know what I would be doing. Thankfully, he chose to move and was able to go back to his friends and the church. When Peter went back, they didn't even believe it was him at first. He had to knock on the door a few times. In Acts chapter 12 verse 16, it says this. Peter continued to knock. When they opened the door, they saw him and were amazed. I think I will be amazed to see him too. This was probably the point they realised their prayers had in fact been answered. I am sure they were extremely happy and thankful to God for what he had done. So this week remember, pray always and get up and go. God hears us and he will answer our prayers. We have to remember we also have a choice to make to either sit around and expect God to do all the work or to get up and go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are blown away by how good you are. It is amazing to learn about all the amazing things the apostles did once you have given them the Holy Spirit. I pray we will be ready and available to be used by you just like they were. In Jesus' powerful name we pray, amen and amen. I had lots of fun learning about the book of Acts with you. Next week we're going to be starting a brand new series and I am very much looking forward to it. This week you've got a brand new memory verse to learn. It's from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 and it says this, Never stop praying. Say it with me. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17, Never stop praying. Pray. Why not highlight this tiny verse in your Bible, underline it, write it down, stick it on a sticky note and put it on your mirror to remind you to never stop praying. This week we've got a brand new devotional for you which you can find on the Breathe New Life Church website or you'll find it on the colouring tables in Breathe Kids Church. We've had an awesome morning with you guys. Thank you all for joining us. We've loved seeing you and hanging out with you this morning and learning about what the apostles did in the book of Acts. Can't wait to see you all next week as we learn about a brand new series. Have a great week, guys. Bye.